Welcome to another grammar lesson brought to you by ebanka.com and Genki Kids A Kaiwa. In this lesson, we will cover conjunction. But, although, though, however. Okay, let's get started. Although and though can be used in a similar way to but. Unlike but, although and though can also sometimes be used at the start of a sentence. Though can also be used at the end of the sentence. So for example, I don't like tea, but I drank a cup today. I don't like tea, although I drank a cup today. Although I don't like tea, I drank a cup today. I don't like tea, though I drank a cup today. Though I don't like tea, I drank a cup today. I don't like hot drinks. I like coffee, though. So as you can see here, you can use but in the middle of the sentence, contrasting your first sentence. I don't like tea, but I drank a cup today. This also has a similar meaning as the last lesson is even though, even though I don't like tea, I drank a cup today. And that's why you can also use the words although and though. Because in these cases, the meaning of the word is closer to the word but. I don't like tea, but I drank a cup today. I don't like tea, although I drank a cup today. Now, when you use the word although here, it could have the meaning of but. So, I don't like tea, but I drank a cup today. Okay, although I drank a cup today. That meaning of but. Or it also can have the meaning of even though. For example, even though I don't like tea, I still drank a cup today. So, I don't like tea probably means that you don't drink tea because you don't like it. But in this case, although you don't like tea, you still drank a cup of tea today. So, here we have although is emphasizing, although I don't like tea, today is a special day. I drank a cup today. So out of the ordinary, you drank a cup of tea today. I don't like tea, although I drank a cup today. Though and although in these cases pretty much have the same meaning. I don't like tea, though I drank a cup today. Okay, so normally I don't drink tea, but today I drank a cup. That's the meaning it has. I don't like tea, but today was special, so I drank a cup today. When you put though at the end of the sentence, as in, I don't like hot drinks, I like coffee though, it means an exception. So normally I don't like all hot drinks, but there's one that I don't mind or that I like. So you are making an exception. So you can also say, although I don't like hot drinks, I like coffee. Okay, let's reread the sentences one more time. Here we go. I don't like tea, but I drank a cup today. I don't like tea, although I drank a cup today. Although I don't like tea, I drank a cup today. I don't like tea, though I drank a cup today. Though I don't like tea, I drank a cup today. I don't like hot drinks. I like coffee, though. For me personally, I use the word but here and though at the end of the sentence. As in, I don't like tea, but I drank a cup today. And I don't like hot drinks. I like coffee though. Now, although but and although and though have similar meanings, you can use but with any complete opposites. So, for example, I don't like tea, but I like coffee. Okay, those coffee and tea aren't really related, other than them being drinks. However, when you say I don't like tea, Although I like coffee, it's kind of strange. When you use the word although or though, you want to have something in relation to what you're talking about. So in this case, I don't like tea, although I drank a cup today, means that the cup of liquid that you drank was tea. So that cup relates to the tea. Okay, so if you say I don't like tea, but I drank a cup of tea today, that's fine, as it means the same thing as although. But as soon as you change the clause after the but, you may come into problems. 
So for example, I don't like tea, but I like coffee is fine because the relationship between the two doesn't need to exist. However, when I use the word although, as in, I don't like tea, although I like coffee, you can say that, but what you want to do is you want to have something that relates to the tea. And in this case, the coffee doesn't really relate to tea. So in the sentence, I don't like tea, although I drank a cup today, the cup that you drank was tea. So there's a relationship there. In that case, you can use the word although. However, but is easier to use because you can use it in any case. And although should be used with things that are closely related. So for example, I like fruit, but I don't like vegetables. Fine. I like fruit, although I don't like vegetables. A little bit strange. I like fruit, but I don't like bananas. Fine, as but works in both situations. I like fruit, although I don't like bananas. So as you can see, banana is a fruit. So you're able to say that because there's a relationship between the banana and fruit. So even though I like all fruits, there's one that I don't like. I hope you understood that explanation. All right, let's practice some more sentences. I like fruit, but I don't like vegetables. I like fruit, although I don't like bananas. Although you don't like vegetables, you should eat them. She is coming this week, though I don't know when. Though I don't like her, I agree with her. I like to read, though I don't want to read that book. I don't like seafood. I like canned tuna, though. I lost the game. But I am not sad, though. Okay, let's try that at a normal pace. I like fruit, but I don't like vegetables. I like fruit, although I don't like bananas. Although you don't like vegetables, you should eat them. She is coming this week, though I don't know when. Though I don't like her, I agree with her. I like to read, though I don't want to read that book. I don't like seafood. I like canned tuna, though. I lost the game, but I am not sad, though. Okay, you read the sentences next. I like fruit, but I don't like vegetables. I like fruit, although I don't like bananas. Although you don't like vegetables, you should eat them. She is coming this week, though I don't know when. Though I don't like her, I agree with her. I like to read, though I don't want to read that book. I don't like seafood. I like canned tuna, though. I lost the game, but I am not sad, though. Fantastic. Nice job, everybody. Thank you for listening. For more practice using lessons and tests, check out ebankyo.com. eBankyo is a website that provides over 14,000 different lessons and tests that enable students to learn and practice English at their own pace. There are many lessons available for all levels, starting from basic vocab, phonics, and grammar. Each of the points covered will also have many corresponding lessons and tests at ebankyo.com. I hope to see you there. Have a good day.